I think Bitcoin charts extremely well, but it charts extremely well for somebody that wants to look at the forest and not the trees. Is, you know, somebody who's looking at one minute charts, five minute charts, 10 minute charts, I, I've noticed those are not really reliable charts. You have to look at Bitcoin in terms of chart construction, at least on daily charts, if not on weekly charts. You know, you can't look at it every day, uh, every minute. You, you, you've got to really step back and look at it in a bigger picture. And that's an advice I would give somebody. Don't get so involved that you're buying and selling Bitcoin 10 times a day. Look at Bit Bitcoin from an historical perspective. This is not something to be playing around with. It's something to be owned. And, and so I think there's danger of people uh, getting too short term in Bitcoin because at some point in time, they're going to get shaken out of their position. And that's when Bitcoin really has a period of strength. And so I think holding L before the D is the thing to do. But for those who really are interested in charting, I bring them back to the 1934 book by uh, the, the senior editor of Forbes magazine, Richard W. Schaubacher, who wrote the book, Technical Analysis and Stock Market uh, Profits. Excellent book, but it's a great primer on uh, the type of chart construction I've seen in Bitcoin, which is uh, triangles, uh, shakeouts, trend lines, head and shoulders, and that sort of thing. And what I'm really seeing is I think that currently Bitcoin in this current Bitcoin bull market from a charting standpoint, where the 2015 to 2017 bull market was in the uh, April, May period of 2017, it's kind of where we're at. And that shows that I think we're at that midpoint pause where in 2017, Bitcoin swirled around for a month or two before we saw the final move up. And you'll note that the midpoint in 2015 to 17 bull market was at about uh, one half, 60% of the total move. If that's true, you know, really that points to the type of price level is that $200,000 plus is really where this market would take it.